Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Fazana. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is about the two vague bases, the P. Louise base and the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. So I'm going to put them both to the test to see which one works how, the consistency, the performance. So if you guys would like to see my thoughts on these two and how I achieved this look, stay tuned and the look is about to follow bear in mind i don't show you the how i do the rest of the face just my eyes so yeah stay tuned and the look is about to follow i've already tried the p louise base um i haven't tried this one yet but i'm really gonna compare the two right off the bat i know the consistency of both of them are different so i'm just gonna put them both side by side and see how it does so this is the P. Louise base and even like this tiny amount goes a long way with it. So let me just put the other one next to it. So this one is um, really tacky, really, um, it has like a satiny finish to it and it's really tacky and it feels a bit filmy and it covers the eye very well like a concealer does. So this one I haven't even tried. This one is a lot more runny, the other one is thicker and yeah it's more thinner in consistency i can already see that so i'm just gonna rub them in with my finger and just show you so this is a lot more thicker but glides very smoothly and it's not watery and very very tacky and obviously with this you can you don't need to set it to get high pigmentation but i did find that even after setting it i did get a lot of pigmentation than I normally would have done so you get very high pigmentation and even if you don't set it it's, it's not difficult to blend your eyeshadow so this is the other one a lot more runny a lot more watery a lot more lighter and cool to touch so I'm gonna start off by using the cut crease canvas this does come with a brush so I'm gonna use the brush for this one and see how it goes it is very thick looking so i don't think i'll be able to get around and it's a bit fluffy like i don't know if you guys can see that but it's it's got like tiny little fluffy hairs at the tip of it so i, I have a feeling this brush isn't going to be that great but i want to give it a chance so no it's fine and it feels a lot more tacky on the eye a lot more thicker and it's too much so i'm not going to use this brush concealer brush like this i'm just going to tap that long and it feels like it's a bit too much eye and it's definitely streaky you can still see some dark dark pigmentation coming through so i'm just going to take that along here and smooth it all out i'm going to get a sponge and fix all of that because that is too messy and it's already um set quite a bit and i'm gonna just soak up what is on the lid because it's really really runny and watery okay so next i'm gonna put the p louise base and with that one i'm gonna take it back on my hand that's all i will need this one i've used already and that's all i would need taking the concealer brush i'm gonna start off and this one I know for sure that I need not so much and already I can feel it grabbing onto my skin with this one I'm going to go in tapping motion I mean you see that how it's easy to use the tapping motion with this because it's grabbing onto the skin and it's not turning up so it's tricky I mean you do get like you do have to keep on patting it in but it's not so messy and it's easy to make it look neat so i'm gonna bring it all up here as well and i usually just leave it like this but since i did use a beauty blender on the other side i'm gonna use a beauty blender on this side as well i mean it is streaky but not as streaky as the other one and you don't see the dark pigmentation coming through so much and i still have some left so 
you can see how little I've had to use with this one. Um, in terms of colour, they both look pretty similar on the eye. So I've taken the 35B palette and I'm taking the colour that's supposed to be in here, which is this purple right here. It's dropped out. So I'm going to take this pencil brush and I'm going to use that to pat the colour on to the crease. The Makeup Revolution is picking up the colour pretty well, but we will see how the other one picks up as well. But it's still a very good primer so I'm just gonna build that up a bit more and do the next one so this is the P Louise and it's doing the same but I do find that this purple has come off a lot more brighter than here it's a bit more deep which is something to take note of I feel like the makeup revolutions picked up a lot more colour than the P. Louise one. Like I was biased because I've already used the P. Louise one. So, don't know, let's see. They're definitely coming off as different colours. Next I'm going to pick up purple just above that purple. I'm going to use this brush right here which is a bit more dense and more flat. Place it above the purple that we just used. I'm now going to pick up the same pencil brush as I used before and I'm going to go into the crease in circular motions and I haven't picked up any more colours so it's just what's left on the brush and I'm just going in circular motions just to blend it in with the purple and make it a bit more prominent. Now I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to pick up the same purple again and put that on to the side here. This is the Zeva Lux Define Crease. And I'm going to go in with the lighter purple at the top here and I'm going to put that as just to blend out the rest of the shadow. And on the Makeup Revolution side it's blending okay. It's still, the purple underneath it's still sat there, it's not like it's too harsh. So I'm going to try and blend that out in circular motions which is a good thing and a bad thing because it's nice to know that it's sat there because it's really grabbing onto the product and I'm just going to blend all of that out yeah it's, it's not budging there's a harsh line there so I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out and let's see if I have any luck Yep, it's not budging, it's just staying like that. I'm going to try the other side and see what happens there. Yeah, same with the other side. So it's probably the eyeshadow. It's made a mess of things. So I'll probably say like, do it immediately. So this is just a brush, tapered blending brush. It's not budging, there's like a harsh line there. Which I can't seem to get rid of. It's just turning into a right mess. They both grabbed on to the eyeshadow very 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 well to the point where it's difficult to blend it there's like a harsh line sitting there I've cut the crease with the P. Louise base on this side and I'm just gonna quickly apply the shadow before it sets I'm gonna take this green right here and apply that to the lid and I just want to let you guys know that the Morphe 35B isn't the most pigmented palette so for the P. Louise base and the Makeup Revolution base to pick these colors up it shows how great it is because I usually have to add like a lot of eyeshadow for it to be seen and when you blend it it blends out to nothing so this is like so wow 
So this is this eye. I'm going to cut the crease for the other eye. I actually really, really like this base and it's five pounds. So, you know, if you run out, it won't be a problem buying it over and over again. It does just as great job as the P. Louise base. Just the consistency that's different. I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll come back to do the bottom part of my face. The rest of my face off camera. So I'm now going to apply a bit of the bases on the bottom. I'm going to start off with the Makeup Revolution one. And I put a dab on the bottom. Not too dense but um, not too fluffy. So this is a pencil brush. And I'm just going to run that along. I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out a little bit. I've already applied concealer and set my under eyes and then I've applied the bases on top. I'm going to get this flat brush and I'm going to go in with this pink right here and I'm going to apply it under both the eyes. So it seems to me the Makeup Revolution's picked up a lot more of the colour than the P. Louise on the under eye. I'm going to get this brush right here and I'm going to use the deep purple that I have in the crease. And I'm going to blend the under eye out and join it to this side right here. Bear in mind that there's not much of the base on this side, it's just what's been blended out. And I'm going to use the same green and put it on the inner corner right here. I'm going to get this brush right here. I'm not going to pick up any colour and I'm just going to blend it out. I'm just going to get the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Day and I'm going to line my bottom lash line. Tight line the top lash line with Makeup Forever Quirk So In the corner I'm going to go in with this yellow right here. So, they both look almost identical. In the beginning I had trouble blending it out on here where there was a harsh line because I had patted it on and it was difficult to blend. I usually don't have that trouble with the P. Louise base but today it seems like it's really really stuck on here and it hasn't blended out and you can see the harshness. Yeah, you can see like it's not blended out properly. But I would say the Makeup Revolution has blended out a lot more better than the P. Louise base. To be honest, I, apart from that, I don't see much of a difference apart from the consistency and the fact that the Makeup Revolution is a bit more streaky. The P. Louise is a lot more tacky, but when it comes to performance, they're both exactly the same. Um, you can get rid of the streakiness with a beauty blender, so that is not a problem. So I will give the Makeup Revolution a 10 out of 10 simply because of the price. The price is just like so much more cheaper than the P. Louise. I mean, it's yeah, the P. Louise is the double the price, plus the postage and packaging is a lot more, whereas you can get Revolution for a fiver and at the drugstore or Beauty Bay or their website. I don't know how much they charge for the postage and packaging on their website, if they do, but, um, you know, you can pop into Superdrugs and pick it up. I know Makeup Revolution products, which become popular are very difficult to find in the shops but when you do it's only a fiver so for that reason I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 otherwise they're both exactly the same apart from the fact that it was difficult to blend but um, I've used the P. Louise before and I hadn't had any problems blending so I would just put it down to um, the way I've applied it today I probably didn't I should have probably blended it straight away you know I had the same problem with the makeup revolution but it's not as harsh and I've seemed to got rid of the problem so the P. Louise will get a 9 out of 10 probably an 8 out of 10 because of the price so they both perform exactly the same so this is the finished look guys